Assalamu alaikum guys, I hope you are fine and doing well. Uh, this is the third tutorial of uh, Google Map JavaScript API and ASP.NET MVC. And in this tutorial, we are going to discuss how can we place a marker on Google Map, right? And uh, what other things we can do to that marker if we place it on the Google Map and what are the other functions. Uh, in other two tutorials, previous tutorials, we have done a uh, <clears throat> few things which I will summarize here. The first thing, how can we set up things for Google Map? Like if you want to include the uh, Google Map in our website, so we have to include its um, library. And in the second tutorial, we have discussed how can we um, search some place on a Google Map and we push two controls on the Google map and then we try to search different location on the Google map and this tutorial which starts from here okay I will add uh, this piece of code to the source code and uh, the source code link will be in the description so you can <clears throat> see and copy from there okay so what I want to do when I click on the map I want to add a marker on the map simple so I have to add listener add listener on the map right on the map and this should be a click okay so when i click on the map this is the function what i want to do i have created a function called place marker okay it's a user created function i created this uh, function where i want to pass the late long latitude and longitude which I take from this event when I click on that map. So it's a built-in uh, function. Uh, if I click on the map through this listener, I can get the late and long. Okay, event dot late and long. Okay, so it will give me the latitude and longitude, like a location. Okay, after <clears throat> I click on the map, it will go to this function, which is here. I have created it here. This is the function I have created. And I am passing the parameter late and long, which I am getting here, the location by the name of location. The next thing, I um, initialized a variable by the name of marker to null. And here this marker I am using. Okay. So what I did, this is the code for the marker. Okay. Uh, this is the function. So I <clears throat> want to uh, initialize a marker here, Google marker. Okay. This is the position, so uh, where you want your marker to be. So on this location, when I click on some location, so on that location, I want my marker to be created. Okay, okay, I will. We will come to this in the next point. The next thing is title. Okay, what you want on the title? Title means the tooltip when you bring over this uh, mouse on your uh, icon so it should show this hello world okay after doing this you have to set your marker on the map got it so let's do it it's very simple we have created a marker on the click right and uh, this is the location this is the late long let's run the application Okay guys, I have run the application and uh, I have to go to the map, to the link. So this is the map, okay. This is the map. Oh, sorry. Um, as we have included uh, this library, Google Map API from online, it is online. So if internet is off it will not work we have to turn on the internet okay now it will work now it should work okay so it's working on the click see it is placing marker okay and look there is a tool tip hello world whatever you want to write you can write if I click here if I click here if I click here if I click here if I click okay another thing uh, let me refresh it for example I want to click here 
the marker is placed here but if i want to click here it should remove this marker and it should be here okay like sometime we need to you know place a marker uh, on the map so we need uh, one marker at a time like i want to place it here okay if i place if, uh, if i click here so that should be removed and uh, it should be placed here so let's do it <clears throat> okay so look before pla placing this marker on the google map I, I will check if <clears throat> if the marker is not equal to null okay it means that the marker is already initialized and the marker is always uh, already located on the map if it is not null so what should i do i want the map to clear the marker okay make it null but if it is already null don't do it don't go to this condition just create a marker okay let's let's check it it's a very simple code okay <clears throat> look clicked here if i click here see have a one marker and i'm okay another thing if you want this marker to be draggable like for example if i clicked here and i want this marker to and want to drag it to this location so there's a function called um, draggable and make it true class done okay <clears throat> let me refresh it i place it here i can drag it anywhere i want anywhere i want okay so this is the functionality if i remove it it will not be draggable i can put some animation okay so this animation google map animation dot drop it is something like this look see there is one another animation which is a uh, bounce i think yes <clears throat> bounce okay there are some others maybe available you can check different animation you can check on google map it's a little bit a bounce kind of a bounce after uh, a drop it is a little bit bouncing and we have a tooltip okay guys thank you so much uh, and i think it's enough for today uh, we have discussed how can we place a marker it's a very easy way to do it uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos and uh, thank you for watching.